We are Schooner and Hop. Yep. One We're of here with a surprise. It's a stout. <gasps> I know, right? Yeah. Crazy stuff. It doesn't feel like winter anymore now. Not today, no. Um, it's been a nice... But that's all right. It's day, yeah. four pine stout. Mm, it's a new Whilst one. Whilst we have already had this, we haven't had this. It's They've now brewed it on <laughs> nitro, if, or they've added nitro. What have we had? It. Wait for it. It's over here. We've had it, but we haven't had it. We've also had it, but not haven't had it here. Actually, we yeah, had it right here, but not with you. So it's a nitro stout. Basically, the initial stout was just a regular, dry, Irish-style stout. I enjoyed it when I revisited it after our review of it. Yeah. It was a nice stout. It, I'll but talk, all yeah. it was was just a stout. Yeah. I'll talk more about it once, like, in comparison to this, I think is a great way to talk about it. So, would you like to show us how you pour that? Hard pour, son. Yep. Hard pour. I mean, that above all, all else just looks nice. It's just nice. It's just a nice, nice little... Uh, I love that the nitro does give it almost the appearance of being coffee crema mm. or like... Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, the, the nice dark tones in the, in the head is brilliant. Um, so in comparison, right, I've already tasted it, so I guess I can just talk about it now that you're looking at it. Um, where the other one was very heavy flavoured and yeah. felt like a meal. Um, this one is smooth, and for anyone who has had Guinness, it's it, obviously Guinness being another nitro. Um, you, and just another Irish stout. Exactly. You know, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, we'll put the quotation marks there. Um, definitely similarities there. Um, I was drinking this with my father-in-law, though, and I said, oh, it reminds me of Guinness. And I said, I thought Guinness was sweeter than this, and he disagreed, and he's had a lot more Guinness than me. So possibly, um, I just think the, that... Guinness has like a more creamy kind of vanilla notes where this still I mean I've only had like a couple of sips of Guinness too though so I can't really yeah. I'm say. yeah I'm still only new on the stout front yeah. as well I've only really had a few this winter I, I just think this has got more of a biscuity kind of like I've got to taste it to actually get the proper words the burnt tones at the end there I don't think that's in Guinness it could no. be. I don't really, like I said, I don't really remember that. I had a sip of it around St. Paddy's Day because we had it on tap at work and I didn't give it the time of day. I much prefer this over the oh, last one. Without a doubt. I just this think the, just, the smoothness of it is... It, this yeah, awesome. shits all over mm -hmm. what it was. And I'm guessing that's just why they did it. Oh, yeah. It yep. just makes... It just adds that element to a just regular stout. It just... Yep. It gives you that silky mouth feel, yeah. which is... It adds to it when it's such an abrasive style. Yeah, and that's it helps mellow it out. I think like that's what said. has made us pull back from stouts a lot. Is like a stout is like here I am and enjoy me. Like a lot of IPAs are, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and we're not into that yet. We can appreciate what it does, but it's like nah, I'm not gonna drink a lot of these. I could have a few of these and be okay with it, just for the simple fact that it feels like it's toned down, just because it is so smooth yeah. and crisp. And maybe that's a reminder of the regular beer that we drink. And that's probably that's why more, it's so. more approachable for us, as they would say. Definitely, stout. it feels more based around those roasted coffee notes than yep. what I remember the yep. previous version of this stout doing. Hmm. Again, it's probably been nearly a year since yeah. I tried it. Yeah, exactly. So it's been a while. Yeah, I've no, tried a few stouts. We in should have just then looked at our <laughs> review of it. And then we got to gather our notes that way. Hindsight. Why don't you have a look at the video? <laughs> And then, and then look at this one and, and tell us if, if we're talking even about the same stout when we're remembering it. We, we did revisit the other one a few times. Yeah. Outside of, um, yeah, outside outside of, of this. Outside of the channel. We came back to it. I came back to it first. Yes. And told you that I found that my taste had changed. It was like a week really or so later. It. Yeah, I tried and I was like, wow, you are right. This is, I'm enjoying this much more However, now. I do remember the other one because... Sometimes you get that kind of Vegemite yeasty mm. flavour in a stout. They like Vegemite. Typically, typically, a lot in Guinness. 
and from memory, I did get a little bit of that in the other stout, mm. but now I just don't get any of it. I th it seems to be all coffee, just I suppose roasted you could say uh, down note of this is it's all um, afterburner. All it the, definitely all is. All the flavour comes at the end. So initially, and I mean, I do enjoy the, the smooth entrance into it, but maybe other people don't. So I guess if you like a stout that tastes like a meal, this is this isn't that stout. <laughs> this isn't that stout. It's like because it is session it's, stout. It's back end heavy. It's just um, yeah. It is all aftertaste really, yeah. and it just, it's I deep. like that. I it like it because nice. it starts creamy, mm. velvety, silky, even just wow, delicious. So coming in, and just then you get that full just roasted taste. Mm. I was actually at the uh, Bolter brewery not that long ago but throughout the tour what a bust they act, i when know I right myself. They actually uh basically you do the whole tour and they're like oh enjoy these tasting paddles there's a private table up on a mezzanine for you guys wow so you sit up there but on the table they've actually got uh malts roasted oh, like yeah. ready to go they've got just a regular pale malt yeah. and a roasted malt for you to try mm. Basically, the roasted mole when you eat them tastes like roasted uh, coffee beans that you'd snack on if you wanted to snack on a roasted coffee bean. I've never done that. Is that a thing you should do? Is that uh -huh. a thing you do? It's a thing you can do. That's I have. Nice. I've yeah. had like chocolate covered coffee beans before okay, and all that yeah. stuff. All right. uh, yep. But okay. basically, they taste like that just without the bone shatter or to <laughs> teeth shattering <laughs> crunchiness of yep. a coffee bean. Yep. So just that alone made me really realize Malt just tastes like coffee when it's really roasted. There you go. And that's just where it all comes from. You know what? Even though you, I kind of uh, knew that. I don't, I don't know if this will be unanimous across all drinkers of this. No, probably not. But she's certainly I unanimous think across is, these two drinkers of this. It's probably Four Pines' best beer. Ooh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, look, we didn't care for that Kolsch. Uh, I used to love the pale. The American. It's yeah. been a while since I've had it though. I, I just had one the other day, actually. Um, and would you rather have this or the pale? Uh, I mean, okay, if you put them in the branches of, this would be my stout of choice. My American pale of choice is still Gage Roads. Mm -hmm. So I guess you could view it like that and say that this is the best beer because that's the other choice. Oh, what else have they really, what have they got? We haven't had anything else on the show. Oh, the summer. Oh, the cup of the Kellador releases. This one. Ooh. But then the Kellador that was good. over there. But I would honestly yeah. rather have this yeah. than that. Yeah, uh, look, I, I, I'll agree in that it's, it stands out the most. It does. The other ones can fade into their separate categories. Yeah. They can definitely... It's uh, memorable. The other bit, this is memorable. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy for a beer owned by... A uh, conglomerate. Oh no, we're on this conversation. Oh no. <laughs> See our podcast of whenever that's up. The beer speaks yeah. for itself. Yeah. They released a beer, they released a stout that didn't quite meet expectation. Mm. They revised it. They refreshed it. Yep. It's come back. Because It's really nice. Yep. Oh, a lot of breweries are just like, no, nah, this is what we released. That's it. That's it there. You can deal with it. Uh, We've been Schooner and Hop. Cheers. Cheers.